The Nebraska Game and Parks Commission has developed a hands-on approach in hopes to better educate the youth over one of the state's most primary pollinators. Educators interested in incorporating monarch butterflies into their teaching are invited to a free virtual workshop scheduled for March 16th and March 23rd. During the Monarchs on a Mission workshop, participants will explore the life cycle, migration, habit, habitat requirements, and conservation concerns of the monarch butterfly. The workshop incorporates inquiry-based, hands-on activities covering subjects such as math, science, and art. The workshop, which will be held from 6 to 8 p.m., is designed for after-school groups and formal to informal educators who work with students in pre-kindergarten all the way up to sixth grade. Participants will receive a curriculum guide, insect identification guide, and four hours of approved in-service. Registration is required and participants must attend both meetings to receive free resources. Registration link can be found at calendar.outdoornebraska.gov. And for any further questions over the program, one can contact Jamie Bachman at jamie.bachman at nebraska.gov. A popular outdoor pastime during the cold winter months is beginning to heat up across the state. Ice fishing has always been a fun way to partake in sport fishing during December, January, and February in Nebraska and across the Midwest. Many hard water anglers have plans to get out this weekend and with temperatures beginning to warm up after a severe cold spell, conditions should be suitable. However, one should always be careful when taking to the ice. Professional walleye fisherman and guide Thomas Larson has a few pointers anglers should follow. When I'm going out on the ice, I always have ice picks, a spud bar, and a life jacket. Less than three inches, I won't generally walk on it. Four inches is safe for walking. Five inches, uh, generally safe for ATV or snowmobile. Eight to 12 can support the weight of a small car, and 12 plus uh, can support the weight of a pickup truck. Uh, I always watch out for areas that have current, whether it's inlets or a culvert, and uh, I watch for uh, road beds that can make thin ice. It heats up faster and uh, is thinner than surrounding areas. And I always watch out for ice heaps where two sheets come together and form. It never freezes correctly either. Uh, in the late ice, I've, I watch for water on top of the ice. Uh, that means that it's still uh, attached to the shoreline and is, is still generally safe to get out on. Once that there's no water on it, that means that it's floating and it is actually detached from the shoreline and it deteriorates rapidly from there. So always use extreme caution and uh, get out and have some fun ice fishing. Thomas Larson is a key contributor to the outdoor show Chasing the Dream and one may follow him for more safety tips and current fishing reports over the show's Instagram and Facebook pages along with News Channel Nebraska's outdoor webpage. Reporting for News Channel Nebraska in conjunction with the Nebraska Game and Parks, I'm Andy Klassen.